Hello everyone. I am Arvind. I am from Robo Miracle. Today, today I am very much excited to show you our robotics lab here in Elite International School. So, this isn't just a lab. It's a creative space that we designed for the kids so that they can understand and develop the robotics. Uh, the, the learning of the robotics will be more fun and engaging way. So, here we have a lot of components listed. Here we have an Arduino. Arduino is the brain uh, behind our projects. So uh, this helps the students uh, to develop the art of coding and this helps them to develop in some practical projects possible. Then we have a lot of sensors here. Sensors play a crucial role in robotics. With the help of sensors, students can make innovative and uh, smart robots that can do good to the environment. So we have a lot of sensors listed here. We have light sensor, we have ultrasonic sensor, sound sensor and then uh, moisture sensor. So you name it, these will do the task. Then we have the STEM kits. Uh, these are the STEM and educational kits. These we provide to the kids so that the basic uh, fundamentals of the robotics will be uh, very much high for them. And these kits will be the basic foundation of the robotic subject. So with these uh, kits, the whole learning process will be more joyful and a playful manner. So here we have a lot of components listed. So these components we will give to the ch uh, children and students use these components to make some practical projects that uh, will be look like this. So these are some uh, practical projects done by our students. The next we have is a 3D printer. So 3D printer, it's a technological marvel. Using this 3D printer, the students can make their custom own uh, 3D prints. So this room isn't just about the tech, it's about persetting the mindsets. It's about embracing the trial and error methods. It's about cultivating the passion to the excellence. So, the real magic comes when the machines are full of silence and the room is full of joy and creativity. So that being said, uh, this is a small glimpse of our robotics lab here in Elite International School. And I will be looking forward to showing you all the projects, innovative projects that made by our students. Thank you. Hey guys, do you know what's super cool at our school? It's our very own 3D printer. My name is Zoya Sultana and I would like to introduce you guys to our teammates, Arshia and Maria. Coming back to the 3D printer, I would like to say that this 3D printer helps us design special parts for our models. We basically design on our computer and then we stream it into our 3D printer. The designing part will now be explained by my teammate, Arshia. First, we will start our printing by using Tinkercad. I have prepared a model in a 3D printing software. We need to choose Export and click on STL. The model will be preparing for export. The model will be downloaded and we need to click on Repair Model. We need to add supports. After adding supports, we need to start slicing. After slicing, we need to check the slice preview. So this is the slice preview. After checking the slice preview, we need to connect it to the 3D printer. The 3D printer will take the stream file. It's pretty exciting to see our ideas turn into real things that we can touch and use. And it all starts with this simple mechanism over here. This is the filament of the 3D printer and it is also known as PLA wire. And it goes from this wheel into the 3D printer and it passes down to this excluder over here. And in this the material gets heated and the design that was already streamed into the 3D printer gets produced into this. The heated material recognizes the 3D design as a set of small triangles because the file is saved with an extension of STL which is an abbreviation of standard triangular language. This is one of uh, our results from our recent projects. As you can see it is a model of a small plane. This, um, these are small triangles, the 3D printer recognizes it. We create a, a lot of uh, models using this 3D printer and it is a very helpful. So if you guys ever come across our incredible projects at Elite, 
Just remember that our 3D printer played a major role in it. Thank you. So hey everyone, my name is Raj and this is my friend Rayman. We are thrilled to introduce our pipette board, which includes this ultrasonic sensor, servo motors, and it is all controlled by an Arduino Nano, which helps to move and perform full movements. This robot mimics the human walking just like humans do in our day-to-day -day life, thanks to its servo motors, which helps in the movement of its leg and feet gracefully. This robot contains one ultrasonic sensor, one Arduino board, and five servo motors which helps in the free movement of this robot. Now my friend Sahaj will give an demonstration of this project. This is the code of the bike. So as you can see here, this code will ping up to 4 times. If the object is about 20 cm, it will move forward. And if the object is near by 20 cm, it will search for the left or right. If the left and forward is blocked, it will search for the right. If the right and forward is blocked, it will search for the left. And this is how the bipod works. Thank you. Welcome everybody. My name is Dev Pandey and she is my teammate Kranti Manaswi. And this is our project which includes many parts such as an Arduino Uno, an LED screen, an ultrasonic sensor and jumper wires. Now I am going to tell the functions of each of these parts. The Arduino contains program which helps us to power on the uh, whole uh, project and this jumper wires also helps us transfer energy from one part to another part. This LED screen shows us the distance and this uh, ultrasonic sensor shows us the distance accurately using sound waves. Now my friend Kranti Manasvi will explain the real world applications and demonstrate the project. Did you know that this technology is used in many everyday uses such as parking sensors, smartphones and even automatic doors. It is super useful in everyday life. An example of this ultrasonic sensor use is self-driving cars, example Tesla. Now I am going to demonstrate the project. First, I need to connect this wire connected to the laptop to the Arduino so that the Arduino is powered. Then I need to connect these two wires of the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino to power the ultrasonic sensor too. Then we are going to connect these two wires of the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino so that the ultrasonic sensor receives data from the Arduino. Then we need to power these two wires from the LED display to the Arduino so that the LED display receives data from the Arduino too. So then we need to restart this you know, so that the LED display restarts its clean. Now watch us measure distances. When we keep the hand closer to the ultrasonic sensor, the distance in the LED display decreases. And when we keep our hand far away, the LED display distance increases. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello everyone, my name is Yashasri Ghosh and we are excited to present our automated irrigation system. Our goal is to create a system that waters plants automatically without us having to do it manually. Here are my friends Habibur and Neerat and we have worked together on this project. Now I would like Habibur to explain its components and functioning. Our project includes the soil moisture sensor that detects when the soil is dry. An Arduino board that controls everything. A water pump that delivers water. And an LCD display that displays the moisture content. So this is the soil moisture sensor. It sends the it sends signals to the Arduino board so that Arduino board can know whether the soil is dry or wet. In case if the soil is dry, the Arduino board tells the motor pump to start and send water. Pump sends water until the soil is wet enough. It's interesting to see how technology like this can make a difference in agriculture, making it easily accessible for everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Sai Pranit and this is our project which focuses on using Bluetooth to control the angles of a servo motor wirelessly. And this is my teammate Afzal. Let me also introduce the components of our project. This is the Bluetooth device which receives the information and passes it on to the Arduino. The Arduino is basically a controller, it controls the servo motor. The servo motor is 
a device in which the movement of the angles can be observed. And finally, this is the battery we'll be using, which will supply the power to our setup. Now, my friend Afzal will do the whole setup and show you how it's done. Yes, as you can see that the Bluetooth device is blinking. That means the setup is successfully done. Now let's learn about wireless communication and its possible uses. Wireless communication refers to that communication which doesn't use physical connections such as wires or cables to transfer information. It can be used in mobiles for cellular communication and in Bluetooth devices for short range of transfer of data. Now that we have learnt about it, let's see this project in practical. There's an app called Serial Monitor in which the information will be sent through the mobile to this project. Let me try to connect it. As you can see, it is saying connecting to HC05, that is the name of our model. Yes, it says connected. now. Let's try to input some angles. Yes. As you can see, the servo motor rotates in the given angle. Let's try 90 degrees. Yes, as you can see, the movement can be observed. Now let's try a bigger angle like 180 degrees. Yes. As you can see, it is exactly moving in the given data. I think it's fascinating to see technology in action like this. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Rania and this is our project which includes an IR sensor that opens and closes the gates automatically when it detects something nearby. This is my friend Madiha and we worked on this project together. This is a battery and we are using this as a power, power supply. The Arduino board is, the con is controlling the project. The IR sensor detects something or someone nearby and triggers the servo motor to close and, close and open. The servo motor opens and closes the gate when it gets a signal by the IR sensor. The, the facilities are automatic garage doors. So this is how the gate opens when the sensor detects something or someone nearby. When an object passes by the sensor, the gate opens. It's really cool. Thank you. Good afternoon kids. I am Neela, made by Robo Miracle. Welcome to the world of robotics and automation. Today, we are going to explore how clever robots are and the amazing things they can do. Are you ready to learn with me? Great! In simple words, robotics means creating smart machines called robots. These robots can do things automatically. Imagine them as super helpers following instructions. Alright, let's talk about main components of robots. Are you ready? Good. Robots have some key components that enable them to function. These include control systems to control all necessary components. Sensors to gather information. Actuators for movement. Power supply for energy and end effectors which perform the robot's specific tasks. Additionally, robots have a variety of uses. These include robotic vacuum cleaners, manufacturing robots, automated assembly lines, travel robots, and healthcare robotics. The future of robots is fascinating. There are challenges like making robots smarter with AI and teaching them to work even better. But there's so much potential. Robots will become even more amazing and help us more in the future. Thank you for learning with me. Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask.
Ask a question, please. How do robots understand what to do? Robots understand through programming and sensors. Programs give instructions, while sensors act as sensors, gathering data from the environment. Ask a question, please. What are the main components of a robot? Robots have key components such as control systems, sensors, actuators, power supply, and end effectors. Ask a question, please. Thank you for learning with me.